guys, welcome back to Carry Yarn Podcast. If you are new here, we're glad to have you. We talk about all things knitting, and this is Terry. And this is Heather. We're buds, so yeah. we're knitting buds and friends in general, so. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk about first, Terry? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I've got so many things on the needles, it's like insane. She has a lot of whips. I have Works a lot of whips. in progress. And I don't. I yeah. You want to start by showing them? I oh we'll do we'll do my 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 main whip because I showed this last time, but so you got a lot more knitted on it. I did. So this is the oh my gosh, I love it. All the lights. Yeah, and by Hohi Locatelli, and I am doing the uh. The knit along, the fall knit along that she's doing, but I'm not gonna finish it. But we were, we had it from September to the end of November, so November 30th, and today is what, the 8th? Did you have to finish it to be you entered? I think you have to. Oh, that's a bummer. You but I'm so not gonna much. finish it because this is actually a coat. Yeah, it's a coat. It's not a sweater. It's gorgeous. And in this light, it looks really, really good. Oh, wow, yeah. That natural light. Over the there. natural light, totally. But so that's the back, and then here's. So gorgeous. You want this, me to hold part of it? Here's the sleeve. Yeah, if you could hold that part. So what end? What I ended up doing is that I've decided that I'm not going to. I might not have enough yarn, and I got this is La Bienna May. So what I here? Let me show you guys what I mean. La Bienna May. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. That's scary. So I stopped knitting on the bottom and I mm -hmm. put it on a holder. Stoppers. Uh, with stoppers on it. Oh, Where are they? Here it is. Yep. So I put it on with stoppers. So, and I separated for the, for the pockets because this has pockets. You can see that right there. Mm -hmm. And I decided I was gonna start on the sleeves because I'd rather have the sleeves long enough and then the, this doesn't need to be as long because it's supposed to be 23 inches from your armpit. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I don't know. Is this coming out here? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. What's this? Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you just got those on hold. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff on hold. Got it. It's like insane. This is a really insane sweater. Like, it is gnarly. It's really, really insane. I am so jealous. I have serious knitting jealousy on this. It's, I want it. I've I been want doing one. it for, since September, and I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, but you made this. Ever. I don't know why you think that you made this so fast. Yeah, I am enjoying doing it. September. I should try it on, huh? So you guys can kind of see. That's so nice. Where it hits me, because it's like, what's great about this is that it hits me like on my boobs in the right place. It's important. Because here. <laughs> You want me to help you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a little. Here, let me take this off too so you can kind of see what I mean. So, uh, this, and I'll stand up and show you guys. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay. The sleeves are very nicely fitted. See, it hits. Well, can I back up a little bit? I don't know. I don't know, it's tight. The it is tight. right here. But anyway, kind of see that it hits me. Wait, where am I? Here we go. Uh, it goes over my boobs, like where I want it to. Right. I don't know, it's kind of hard to... Cause we're she's sitting tra on the couch. She's trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped. <laughs> In yarn and the couch. <sighs> you can't even see it. Oh well. But, my point being... Is that it hits me where I want it to. Right. And the sleeves are, are awesome. I went up a size. On the sleeves? Um, so this I'm doing in size 5 needles for the body. And then I went up a, a, to a 6 for the sleeves. And I'm really glad I did because it is and this is where loose enough. Right. This is where so, you're marking your increases? Yeah. And I'm marking my increases right here. Okay. So every time she increases, she puts a stitch marker hanging on it, guys. Yep. Which is a nice way to keep track for your next sleeve. Right, exactly. Because you're supposed to do it for the size that I'm doing. You're mm -hmm. supposed to decrease um, two stitches every 12 rows for eight 
reps. Eight decreases, eight times. You're supposed to decrease eight times. So I've got like one, two, three, four, and then, yeah, love it. And if we're looking down over here, it's because that's where our thing is, so sorry. If it looks like, where are they looking? We're looking at our camera. We're looking to make sure in our, our viewfinder to make sure that you guys can see what we're doing. Right. <laughs> so anyway, my arms up. Okay. Love so it. that's what I'm doing. And <laughs> say forever. And I want it to be done. And I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to have it done for the um, the contest. The contest because you can win like all kinds of stuff. Like a so, hoagie bag and... So you have to double check. Maybe. 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 I could fudge it and just like have one sleeve done and the next and all this done and like have and like kind of take pictures of it so that the other sleeve doesn't... Yeah, don't watch this hoagie. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know you totally tune in. <laughs> but yeah. she, she's going to cheat. <laughs> so do not watch this. I want a hoagie bag. Look, you can just turn this way and be like, "Oh yeah, see my see sweater. My sweater. I'm, done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm not gonna sweater. tell on you. Are you guys gonna tell on her? You better not. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell on you. Oh my god. But anyway, yeah. Who knew that a sweater would take that long to do? But it's gonna be long and and hot. And I'm already hot in it. I don't even <laughs> have all the sleeves on. <clears throat> Let me help you. Okay. Yeah, seriously, I'm gonna need help getting out of this, so I don't take lose it off the needles. <laughs> anything, right? Okay. All right. Alrighty, that was me. That was my main project. And if you guys really want to see like all the other whips, my craziness, mm -hmm. we could do that after Heather shows her stuff. Oh. Okay. Or do you want it? Or do you want me to go? I don't have that much, so I'll just show what I was working on. Okay. Okay, so last time we met, I was doing, uh, talking about my socks on my circular sock knitting machine, and I had the Arnie and Carlos sock, mm -hmm. and I knit one of them to try it on for my son, and um, it's too short in the, it hasn't been washed, but it's too short in the foot, foot. so I was uh, taking it out. You can see that, mm -hmm. but you can see how fun the yarn is. I love that, isn't it? It's cute. Oh. Yeah. That is super cute. And I did His knit feet up. Feet grew. Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> I was guessing about here. This part's okay. Like sixty um, cylinder will work on him. I mean, it's not super tight, but. Um, there is a cylinder that is smaller, which is from 60 goes to 54. And, um, I don't know, that might be a better fit for him. He's growing fast, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that I would up, get Mama. that cylinder, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you won't need it for him in, in like a year. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, so the foot was two. And this is just all one yarn. And what I did was I didn't cut it. So I could just re, right. I kept it together so I could redo it. But I love, this is what we we're talking about when it does like that, um, let me get it Self over here. Self-patterning. Yeah. The faux fair aisle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is fun. So that guy will be another attempt. Sure. Cause I don't know yet how many rows I need to knit for his foot, but I know it needs to be more than that. This one, I'm working on the second of this sock right now. Um, it feels really good. Mm. This is called, you know, fa la 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 So, it looks like peppermint, like, doesn't it? Peppermint cane, cane or peppermint. bark or whatever yeah, they yeah. call it. I love yeah. it. It feels really, I know. It feels really, really good. It's like a really smooth, like, sock. It's not like one of those. Right. So, obviously, this is the top and then I have to kitchener the the toe on toe. the top yep, yeah I have to reverse kitchener the toe which is not obviously my strongest <laughs> so how many do. how many of those are you waiting to kitchener on a lot my Halloween one still if I'm being honest which I don't <laughs> want to be honest right now but I kind of was like screw it and went to my Christmas socks because <laughs> I might actually have a chance of wearing those but 
It is what it is. All right. So I'm just trying to give you an idea what it looked like. Yeah. But yeah. But so. you know what? It's not as bad as remember in the beginning, like a few episodes back, I had a socks that were on the needles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I had like three rows to go. Do you remember that? That was the first episode. Yeah. Then you I finished had, like, them. I had three rows to go. Yeah. And I didn't finish them until like a month later. <laughs> So, right. <laughs> I have a couple pairs that need to be kitchenered, so, and I'm not very good at it. Like it's reverse kitchener, which I'm totally fine with it. Mm -hmm. Like doing it, you can do it. it. It's the beginning that I don't. I'm like that doesn't look super great. Like when I take it off the needle, and it's the end that's like kind of sketchier for me. I just need more practice at it. Do you have to do a reverse, or can you just turn it inside out and do kitchener? You can do regular kitchener with like double pointed needles mm -hmm. or whatever and yeah but it would take longer yeah the reverse kitchener is quicker it takes like a half an hour to close on toe yeah really yeah i'm gonna make you do it i know <laughs> i need to do this one i need to get the other one done I want no, but i stuff. love this look at this this makes me want to have a peppermint candy i don't like peppermint flavor at all I, I like wintergreen better, but this is like totally wintergreen better. Well, you like Her peppermint flavor. mochas, right? No. You don't like peppermint mochas? Nope. Don't like peppermint anything. Mm -hmm. I don't like candy canes. I don't like peppermint toothpaste, mints. I'm all about spearmint. I'm all about winter mint. Isn't that the same thing? Mm -mm. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. If you know, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> I love this though. It's totally Christmassy. And I got that on a D stash, and I can't remember. You can't remember the yarn? Mm -mm. I can't remember who made it. It's an indie dyer, and the tag's not readily available, so. Oh, well. You're just going to have to find it yourself if you guys want it. If Yeah, <laughs> if, if I happen to find the tag, we'll put it up. Yeah, we'll, ha we'll put it up. So, basically, that's what I'm doing right now. All right. Let me see your other stuff. My other thing that I started. Okay, so I was at work couple weeks ago right before Halloween and I was looking up something for a customer on Ravelry and the number one pattern came popping up and it was called Little Scorpion oh. by what's her I forget her name now anyway and I saw that and I was like I'm buying yarn today even though I had <laughs> no business doing that I have so this would be my seventh sweater that I cast on for it. And I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, but Wait, I- Wait, you have, in work in progress, you have seven sweaters going? Yes. <laughs> You're the sweater knitter. I am the worst. That's awesome. So I cast on for it and I kind of, you guys, okay. Let's see this. I didn't know you cast on for this. I did. And then Just so I you did, guys know, you guys... she has about 500 of these bags here at, at my house right now. <laughs> of her bags, like these canvas yeah. bags. <laughs> like and there's, where... there's one across there's one there. there. There's one over there. Okay, so, let's see. I can't... This is my swatch. This is not uh, the size of swatch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember this comes. That is not a swatch. That is not a swatch. Wait, can I see this? <laughs> This is some bohemian, <laughs> like, jewelry, okay? This is Dude, I could totally wear that. Yeah, you take Put some beads on there. It's funkadelic. Okay, this is not a swatch, people. I can't even get in the camera. Because yeah. it's too small. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, no, no, that's not let's good. Let's talk about why this isn't a swatch, shouldn't Okay. We? Because it doesn't give you a good, accurate measure of whether... That's the size you're supposed to do. But and why? It's so big. Because I will put a picture up, but I did post something on my Instagram mm -hmm. that when I did it, I was like, okay, this is the size I need. I did it and it was way too small and I couldn't get it over my head, basically. Oh, that's the same sweater. Okay, I wasn't tracking. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, you'll, you'll remember. I know now. I know what you're talking about now. So during at night, I showed everybody and they were just cracking up. And yeah. I don't blame them for laughing. They were, uh, they were relentless. 
They were giving me so much shit. Over Zoom. They were not easy on her. (laughs) So she needs to do... You have to do... So a proper swatch should be like five inches. A five by five. Mm -hmm. And if nobody's ever seen this, you might be going, what is this strands in the back? She swatched in the round um, to get an idea. So you can do... It's not really a cheater swatch, but you don't actually knit everything in the round. And you do this instead in the back so you don't have to but she's so you don't have to knit everything in the round and it takes longer to do that this is a legitimate swatch if it was a five by five correct and then she could cut the back here Mm -hmm. cut this and you lay it out and then you um block it you're supposed that's what you're supposed to do yeah or you could knit a bracelet i mean yeah (laughs) i kind of like it as a bracelet okay moving on so but yeah, the here, colors are like oh. the colors are amazing. There's oh my god, I am in love with these colors. My friend, uh, my new friend at the shop at Monarch, her name is Alyssa, and she probably doesn't watch this show. But anyway, hi Alyssa, if you're there watching, <laughs> she should watch. If I know she I should make her. But anyway, um, she Those picked colors. out mm. this green. This is Madeline Tosh. Um, Looks like you got skinny singles. Yeah, I got skinny singles, Madeline Tosh, and then also this is purple, so guys. It looks I got I stash dove, but, but yeah. this is the purple, purple um, from Magpie, and I have another one on hold at the shop just in purple, case. Purple, gray, and and then like this bright limey green, and then this is um, Moondrake. Um, oh. 90 merino, 10% linen, and it is so soft. Let me feel that. Yes. I've never, oh, feel that felt, one. I've never felt it in person. Oh, this is so, nice. yeah. yeah, this is nice. So Alyssa helped me pick out the colors because the original colors, mm. well, we'll put a, a, a photo up. The original colors are like red and like a tan color. I like the original colors too. The original colors are really cool because it looks like dripping blood sort of mm-hmm. but I kind of like the acid green because that's more me I like thing. both I mean I like I like it all yeah I love this what you I picked. love this I green. love this like corrugated oh green. yeah the corrugate yeah totally so this is corrugated yeah on her collar we need to record here all the time look at how beautiful this is the lighting like, the is lighting really is good. good the lighting's good yeah, we could just put like knitting things up here. <laughs> right, I'll just have knitting stuff in my living room. It's fine with me. Okay, so that is my thing that I'm gonna work on after I finish my all of the lights. Because what ended up doing is I because it wouldn't fit on my head, I ripped it all back to the um, collar. All right, and. Put it on way bigger needles. What size is these? Because it was supposed to be 2.75, which is like really small for a fingering weight sweater. I mean, come on. That is way small. (laughs) So. Take forever. I put it on size 4 needles, and I tried it on over my head, and it works. Nice. So, we're good. I love it. I totally want to start this now that I'm looking at it. I want to go back to it, but. She has to get I into have her to contest for her my contest because I want to win. <laughs> so that was, I guess that you could call that like acquisitions because that's my latest acquisition was the um, Moondrake. Nice. And, and you like the it. Madeline you like Tosh. It. Yeah. You like the and hand nice. of it? Oh, yeah. It is so oh, soft. this is the, this that's is what from you it. Yeah. Okay, that's so what this I swatched feels on. really good. Yes. Um, I love that it has some linen. Yeah. And then this one. I keep showing this one, but, like, I don't have a sweater that has this color in it, so I'm totally excited. I'm going to wear your bracelet. You can wear my bracelet. My swatch bracelet? Yeah, I think I want to keep it, Which is ridiculous. I want to keep it. Yeah, just weave that in. You totally keep it. We're going out now. Oh, we are? (laughs) Are we going steady? (laughs) We're going steady. (laughs) Okay. Oh, that's funny. That's it. Unless we want to talk about more of my nonsense. I like your nonsense. Okay. She's all okay. I don't have have enough nonsense right now. This is my other nonsense. (sighs) 
This is what you're still I the think one you're still I've working on. I showed this before. Yeah, you have. But look at you got farther. Yeah, you took out further. because it was because the colors the were striping on yeah. you. So you had to take out mm -hmm, and, and rip better. back, and so that it doesn't. Yeah. So explain that to people who have not seen that episode. Yeah, or don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so for this one, this is done in Volum Vine and Magpie. And the Volum Vine is the darker one. And she is an indie dyer who I absolutely adore. Mm -hmm. um, and here's her label right here. Um, what happened? Oh, there it is. Okay. Volum Vine. Anyway, so since it's an indie dye, um, they kind of have a little bit of pooling, a little bit sometimes. Is that what it's called, pooling or? Yeah, I don't know the... that it was pooling, but two different colors, two different skeins are never exactly alike, even right. if they come in the same dye, dye lot. lot or even right, if right, they even right. have a dye lot. And she started her new skein and it started to strike. She had like a big differentiate between two mm -hmm. colors right here. And mm -hmm. it just looked like a line across. There was a huge line. You could totally mm -hmm. see it. Yeah, you could really see it. So what you did was she took it out. Mm -hmm. I took it out. And then you're using a one-in-one -one skein, mm -hmm. right? So she's using two different skeins, same colorway mm -hmm. of the body. But she is, how many rows are you doing? Two and two? Yeah, no, or I'm four. doing one and one. I do one and one and one, and then now I'm back to one. I already what do you I mean ripped by it one back. And one? I I ripped it back to like right about this point. So oh, so you're so you're knitting one of one, one skein, yeah, one, one of the other. other. Yeah, that's super uh, meticulous work. So, but look how well it's blended. It blended it in a little bit. It's almost like a fade now. Right. A lot of people will do two rows. Right. Or. If you go more than four, it's not really it's doing not helping. It. Yeah, no. But look how well it looks now. So it's almost like a it faded into this one, which I'm okay with. Yeah. So I can see it, but it it looks really good. So I'm a little worried that this isn't gonna fit me. You had it. You had tried it on. It does look like a kid sweater. It reverse. does. But I think I'll, I've looked at but other. But it's gonna. Peoples. It's gonna. It's gonna block out. And it's on the needle still. And it's on the needle. It'll be fine. So. That's one. That's it. Good. That's a good to know. Like, that's good for people to know that you can fix that. Right. So that's a good tip, you guys. Yeah. And I probably should finish this because it's like a short, it's a short sleeve. So it's not that hard. Right. And it's, this is, oh, I didn't even say what this was. This is the Miserina tea, part of um, Caitlin Hunter's Nidalee series where she does, every year she puts out a sweater that's short sleeve that's kind of dedicated to towns in Italy that she wants to visit or that she has visited or something like that. Yeah. So, there you go. Knitting done. I don't want to show anything else. Okay. Because it's all fair. Oh my god. It's yes. Not, not okay, acquisitions. This this I got. I mean, I've showed gauge dye works. I mean, how many times? I love gauge. Lots of times. Look at that though. So pretty. Um, this is her um Azurite? Azurite D mix? Yeah, it's D mix. D mix. So she labels them, um, and this one totally caught my eye. There's another There's another one. I don't remember what color it is. I haven't seen it in a long time. But I've never had one of these skeins because um, they always sell out or you, they're just hard right. to get. Right. It's and so I think it was a blue and green mix that had first caught my eye like maybe a year ago. And... On this one, I'll take it out. It has, at the end, it has a solid that goes with it. So the solid purple is somewhere here. See the solid purple? Mm -hmm. Right there. So you can use that. If you want to do socks, you could use that for your heels and toes. It's like at the end of the skein. Oh, okay. So it's at the end of the skein. You would cut it off or you would... Um. Yeah. Okay. So she, it's pretty much like this one is like... If you want to do it for socks and stuff, my understanding, it's like a mini skein, but it's just connected. It's connected it. in the yarn. So you just Got cut it. it off yourself. It's not like packaged separately. Now, are you going to do these on your I don't machine? know. So this technically is to be um, bought and you make a shawl. 
So she has a pattern for so this one skein will make a small shawl and the yarn is like mathematically done oh, for cool. that. So I might do that with it. I haven't decided yet. I might not do socks with it. So what does it say here? It says the shawl designed for a geometric uh, geometry of a triangle shawl with smaller sections of colors for the shorter rows at the beginning of larger sections of the color for a longer rows at the end. So shawl classic sweater. I don't so did you get you get a um, a pattern with it or? I have to go on our website and mm -hmm. the pattern might be sold separately. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what classic means. Dyed with the traditional self striping yarn. Some colorways are intended for socks, while others have longer sections of color for accessories like cats and cows. I think she's t talking about her. Oh. Okay. But this particular, I'm kind of confused by this actually. But this one is for a specific shawl. Oh, it says classic right here. So. See, it says classic. So that must be. Okay, so classic Classic is, is right there. Yeah. Right. Dive okay, that it. makes sense. So this is just an overall thing. But some of hers are made specifically okay, for... So people can see what we're talking about. For, um... So Heather's is this one right here, the classic. So maybe that is for socks. That is for socks. I probably oh, don't that's... remember, but I ordered the sock one. Yeah. I can't remember. I must have. That's why there's the mini skein at the end. Right. But she has... She she has ones right. that you can buy that are... Made for specific, like mm -hmm. a shawl. I thought this one was it, but I was confused. Oh, yeah. Because it's that 115 cool? grams, so you got, like... It's extra. Yeah. Extra. That is so cool that she does that, though. I know. Her stuff is so... I mean, she's got stripes down to a science, I feel like. And then the inside has, like, um... That label's cool because it's got like, um, what do you call it? Markings for measurements on the inside. That's cool. Is this supposed to be a tangram on the front? I don't know what that is. Tangram. The image on the front is a tangram for an afternoon of fun. Take a pair of scissors and cut up this card. Create your own minimalist art or search online for tangrams, puzzles to solve. So I guess that's where she got her inspiration. That's cool. I've never heard of that. I'm not a huge geometry person, so I don't know. It's math. I don't do math. <laughs> you do sweater Apparently, math. Apparently. Sweater math. <laughs> because. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my last acquisition. It pays to work at a yarn shop. <laughs> In more ways than In one. In more ways than one. That was really cute. So, and the um, owner, she gave us all um, these little bags. Otter. And it says, wait, where is it? Over here. Over here. It says Monarch Knitting right there. Now you ought to be knitting. And you guys can purchase these at the shop. Not a commercial. I'm just saying if you want one. They're cute. So. I like the otter. It's cute. They ought to be knitting. And that's cute because it's next to Monterey Bay Aquarium. Mm -hmm. Somebody's and Monterey, thinking. I know. Smart. Anna's a really smart lady. Very cute. And that's it. We're going to say what we're wearing today. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a um, brioche. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember it now. But it, I know it's by Lavanya Patricella because I mm -hmm. make all her cowls because I like their shape. Let me um, get a little bit closer so you can kind of see. Oops, let's see. See, oh, no, that's not going to work. Maybe a little bit. But it is by Lavanya Patricella and this is all brioche mm -hmm. and this is inside out mm. it's pretty inside out though <laughs> it was pretty inside out so this is her now you see the brioche pop yeah but brioche is double sided so I don't know if this one is it. because this has got garter on the on them but garter is double sided yeah I guess and then so here's it's just more subtle it's just a different way it's pretty both ways I didn't even notice that. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it is. Totally. I love it. I don't remember the name of this, but I will put it up and you guys will be able to see it. That one's been in my queue. Yeah. For a long time. So basically what it is is like 
it's brioche right here and then garter and then brioche and garter brioche garter she does a lot of brioche she does brioche she's like the brioche queen um she does brioche classes too yeah so she's really good but yeah this is awesome to wear just right now because i get cold it's like a dicky kind of yeah <laughs> remember those dickies oh that reminds me of like natural lampoon um christmas vacation when um Cousin, whatever his name is. Oh, um, my. <laughs> when he wears that white yes. turtleneck or that white sweater with the black turtleneck and you can see the outline of it. <laughs> it's like skin tight white. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You know what? I'm looking forward to Christmas time. Me too. Um, You made me think of, like, that's one of my favorite scenes in, like, any movie. Is Cousin when, Eddie. Yes. And he's wearing that sweater and he's... And I told you this before. That's why you got me my cup. Oh, I know. You're so I know. cute. And he breaks the oh, yeah. thing. He <laughs> touches it and it's like, and it breaks it. And it's like, we had one of those when I was a kid. Oh. And it, it was like, if you touched it, it, it could fall. And it, what is it? It's like, we, yeah. we had one that was powered by a candle. Yeah, the candle. And then it makes like, it spin. He makes it spin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he totally breaks it. He just goes. It. Yeah. And then he, and Clark is like, <laughs> what are you? Yeah, Ugh, he's just yeah, the, one Eddie, of the best. That's awesome. I kind of shitter's wish he, full. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, shitter's full. I kind of wish he was my cousin, right? Yeah, he'd be fun. He'd be fun. He'd be fun cousin to have his RV parked in front of your house. I don't know about that. That I could be an adventure. Well, I'd be kind of mad at him for like putting his stuff, stuff down the down the street. The street. I think but, neighbors wouldn't hate us. Yeah. No. Like, why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. <laughs> That's our favorite Christmas movie. That that I'm is. I'm sure we'll talk about it more. We'll talk when about Christmas, Christmas is coming movie more, but yes, uh -oh. we shall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what I'm wearing is. <laughs> yes, what are you wearing? <laughs> this is the first time I've worn it. Yay! This is how we take our pictures, good. right? I think it looks like really this. good. I love with what you're wearing. This color, okay. Mm. So this is the calamice mm -hmm. cowl uh, by the lady who is wool and vine. And Chris Emily here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just showing you because can you see the color? Yeah, I'll probably take it off. It might be easier. But it has beads in it. If you we've talked beads about it before. In her. If you guys have not seen, but look at that. You, it's got a really good color. It's almost like it's dual chrome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It like is. It, it's like it, it has a color shift to it, which is so cool. I'm in love with it. I want a whole sweater out of this. This yarn is uh, Ritual Dyes mm -hmm. yarn. And her metallic mohair. And it's metallic with like um, like a metal, gold metal mm -hmm. color in it, which you won't be able to see here, the mohair. And then coupled with these other beans, color. And yeah. I don't... Remember, I got this at Stitches. I got the yard of Stitches, and I like started this bad boy when we were at Stitches because she was in love with it. And let me tell you, and I've already talked about this, but let me tell you, for Heather, that's rare because Heather, mm -hmm. like, it's hard for her to fall in love with a color because she's seen it all. <laughs> she has seen it all, people. <laughs> and so, for her to fall in love with a color, that is it means it's really, really original mm -hmm. and really, really I love it different. And so I do, I do anything out of these two colors together. Like yeah. I want a full sweater. That is so beautiful. I don't know when. I or think if it's she's a limited. It. I don't think she's gonna make any more of it. Be sad. Maybe she will. When we were there, like she sold so much of it that yeah. there wasn't even enough to make a sweater. When I was, I wasn't looking for a sweater quantity of it, but right. there wasn't. So I was just, I was happy I got this. Yeah. So that's what we're wearing today. Also, on another note, Calamai Cowl, Volumine is also doing a hat in this. Oh, nice. So, it's the same pattern, but it's a hat version of it. It's a slouchy hat. She's, she hasn't said when she's going to come out with it, but if you guys are interested. And you can do it without beads, too. Yeah. You don't have to do You can beads. do this without beads, and Lucia did that. I love she it. She did it with beads. I love the beads. I Anytime you beads. can do beads and it doesn't look frumpy yeah. is fantastic to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't so. even, like, it's it just gives it a little bit of a sparkle, you know? Not even a right. sparkle, but a, like a... 
I don't even know how to it, say it. Picking the right beads is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you pick wrong color beads or what I would, somebody would think of, like maybe whoever picks them loves them. But your beads can either blend in or stand out. I wanted these to blend. Like almost be there but not be there. Right. So people will pick their beads a different way. Like who right. knows? How many right. who would, could do a solid color and put a solid totally different color beads and that's fine. But mm -hmm. picking your beads will definitely change how your project Looks. Yeah, I love it. I think that's so, so good. I think you did a great it's job so too. Shocked. Thank you. Okay, so right. what, are we wrapping up or? I, think we're wrapping I up. want to tell us you about your shirt. Your shirt is super oh, cute. Oh yeah. So tell my us shirt. What your shirt says. My shirt says it's almost Christmas in French. Let me see if I can stand up. Show you guys. There you go. Wait, wait. This way. Very cute. Almost Christmas. Even though it's November. It is so close. Wait, how many days till Christmas? Can okay. we ask Siri? Yeah. We'll have a Christmas countdown. Hey how Siri, many how many days till Christmas? She, she never listens. She to never. Me. I know she doesn't listen to me either. Mm -mm. <laughs> she always thinks I'm someone else. I don't know. Um, anyway, I feel like we we're gonna say something else. Yes. We what we say? are knitting to right now? We are knitting to <gasps> oh, yeah, Shit's Creek. Creek. Uh, I love it. I, I love <laughs> Shit's Creek. <laughs> It's so funny, you guys. You have to oh watch Shit's Creek. It's so good. It makes you feel good, too. It's like one of those yeah. feel-good kind of, like, bunny. And Moira Rose is amazing. Awesome. I love her. <laughs> she And after a while, she grow, they all grow on you. Because at first, you're like, ugh. <laughs> right? <laughs> at first, you're like, oh, my God. Who are these people? Mm, but right. then, at the end, you're, like, in love with them. And then you're crying. <laughs> Like the end of the episode. Yeah. The end of the first episode, you're, I was hooked. Yeah, yeah. I was totally hooked. It's funny. It's a premise where this uh, wealthy, I won't even say rich, wealthy family uh, loses all their money because their tax guy, whoever their, bro uh, not broker, but accountant. Yeah, whatever. Uh, messes is. it all up or stole it or something. Stole it from them. Yeah, stole it, embezzled it. And uh, so they go from being rich to living like on nothing. And it's they, hilarious. they have to go live in a town called Schitt's Creek, spelled S C H I T T S. That so they happen to own. That they happen to own. They bought it as a joke, and right. so they own the town. So they get to go live there, and they live in a motel. <laughs> live in some ratty motel. It's yeah. hilarious. So it's a so. mom and dad and and actual like thirty year old children. They like they're like in their thirties, right? Yeah, That's but I don't think in the about. show they're supposed to be are they supposed to be in their thirties? Yeah, 30s they're talking the about their okay. in their thirties, yeah. They're funny because they don't act like that. Like yeah. It, it's good. It's Ew, good. David. <laughs> I love it. I Ew. But David's our favorite. David is our favorite character. He but they're is. all they're all perfect awesome. in their own way. They're so you guys should totally watch it. Yeah, so good. It's on Netflix. Yeah, and we and, and all our like, friends were what or Beth said she was watching it. Um, yeah, it's really really good. We've gotten our knitters to watch it. Yeah. Um, what's the other thing I was gonna say about it? It was written by oh, the dad and, and the son. And the They're son. actually related. They're, yeah, uh, that's actually Eugene his son. Levy mm -hmm. and his son. Daniel or Dan Levy. Who is he wrote it yeah and everything and then that so <clears throat> they play father and son in it and they are actually are father and son yeah and if you saw american pie that's you know the dad. that's the dad he's eugene yeah. eugene levy he's also in like um best in show he's in a lot of other yeah. movies he's got big serious eyebrows yeah serious he's in a lot of movies that dan inherited dan his, levy. he's so handsome oh my god he's so cute he he's our favorite character and um we're going to kidnap him and have him either as our boyfriend or brother. We haven't decided. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. David is awesome. David Rose is our favorite. We want to make, and he wears the most amazing knitted sweaters. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> he may, he, he always wears black and white. Period. Yeah, period. But he always wears killer sweaters and outfits right? and clothes. Right. He is, he is, uh, maybe in real life he's kind of like, he's in the fashion and stuff yeah he, life, well he was because he because i watched the um on netflix if, so Shit's creek is on netflix but also they have like a documentary because this is how obsessed i got right i watched the documentary after i watched the entire series you finished it 
Yes, I did. Oh, you didn't tell Yay. me. I didn't know you finished it. Yeah, I finished it. I, I finished, finished it, it before her, so I couldn't give her any spoilers. Don't yeah. worry. You'll never find spoilers here, yeah. guys. Yeah. No spoilers. But, so I watched it, and he was talking about, like, how much they put into um, their wardrobe. Especially right. Moira's wardrobe. Oh, I'm sure Moira's r- Rose's wardrobe, and... Um, Say that three times. I can't even... Moira... <laughs> Rose's wardrobe. Rose's wardrobe. So, yeah. And Alexis's. Alexis. I could see her David's being the hardest. I heard something about, like, that hoodie he was wearing. He tracked that down. He wanted that hoodie, I think, the one with the, it's like a mohawk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's in the cornfield or yeah. whatever wearing it. All sad. Yeah, he, that's a piece he had to track down that was like super popular. Oh. And he found it like on eBay or something. It's so funny because like, I don't know, they just put a bunch of interesting touches into. Right, Like right. they do with tons of other things, other yeah. shows. Anyway, we're not film critics, but we pretend like we are on, yeah. on our own podcast. Yes. <laughs> So we sit there and knit and watch that show. It's, it's amazing. feel good. And I you know what? I don't even know how many times we can say watch it. Right. And I'm going to start watching it over again. Yeah. I even watch it again. Mm-hmm. It's not long that I finished it. Like a couple months ago I finished it. Yeah. But I would just hit. Because I don't want it to end. Yeah. Because you can get all whatever episodes. Like you'll binge watch. Yeah. Like I did. And what else do I want to say? Myra Rose has a weird accent. Oh my god, she's so funny. She's so funny. She, what's her real name? Uh, Catherine O'Hara. Yeah, she's great. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Juice. Like, we've mentioned her more than once. Yeah. She's great She's actress. the mom in Home Alone. Right? Um, All the Home Alones. Yeah. So she's awesome, too. Yeah, she is just a great actress. She's like... She's so pretty. And the way that she she talks is just so funny. It's so She hilarious. uses, like, really big words. <laughs> And she's condescending to everybody. And, she, and, she and her daughter is, co- is condescending to you. She's all, well, thank you, but okay, no. Or something, like the way that she says, like, and she's like, David, ew. And she and she's like a teenager. She's like a teenager. But she's, she's like a like teenager, but 27. she's 27. Yeah. It's she's hilarious. like older. She's and like, then, oh, Paris Hilton want to be here or something. Yeah. In the show. Yeah. Um. So Kirby Werby? Yes, Kirby Worby wa- Kirby Worby Yarns was doing a pre-sale. Did you buy that? I did. Yes. She did a pre-sale. Yeah, Dallas. She did a pre-sale of the I yarn. Should have done it. I should have done it. Um. So I when know, she I was surprised doing, you didn't get one, but so Kirby Worby does a lot of um, self-striping. Yes. Self yarns. Yes. And Beautiful she every year or not every year, but at least last year. She did. She does um, yarns with each stripe is named for something in whatever. The it's like yarn. a quote in a show. A quote or a in a movie. show in a movie. Like last year, she did um, Christmas Vacation. Right. She does pop a lot of pop culture yeah. references. Yeah. So this year, she did Schitt's Creek. Yeah. And so I found about. I found about. I found out about yeah. her from you because you yeah. were knitting. I was so jealous. You were yeah. knitting. I haven't even finished those socks yet. Christmas socks. And every stripe has, like, a quote from the movie. Right, right. And I was like, oh, my God, I want those. And I even, like, messaged her. And she's like, I'm not dying those again right now. Maybe Because she said it took, like, forever. To yeah, because there's so many. How many stripes do you think are in there? There was 24. 20. Because. Lots of stripes. Yeah. There's 24 stripes, but the, it repeats. And what it's supposed to be is you're supposed to knit a stripe a day. Right. So, you get so it's like an advent sock. This is, I think, a great idea. You guys, that's yeah. such a fun thing to do. So, I mean, I assume. I haven't done it yet, but... <laughs> Somebody's phone's ringing. We'll ignore that. But, um, yes. And so, I have the Shits Creek one coming. I don't know when it'll come, but it was a pre-order. And I'm really hoping she's going to do the National Lampant Christmas Vacation yeah. one again. I, Are you going to do it on your... Yeah, I'm going to, like, crank out, like... I'm gonna crank out all the quotes in one day. You should because that yeah. way you can wear them. Yes, I'm not gonna hand knit them. I love <laughs> hand crazy? knitting. I love hand knitting uh, socks, but you know that second sock never comes out for me. 
Yeah, doesn't they always work out. come out like different sizes for me too. When I no, do. I mean it doesn't come out like because I don't knit it. Oh, you don't? Know, you have second sock syndrome? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, that's why I have a sock machine now. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So and you're gonna finish that today, right? Your I'd like shop? to finish that one. Um, yes, and you can knit. Side note: you can knit fingerless gloves or gloves on a sock you machine. You can? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, that makes sense. Right. People knit ornaments too that makes sense like too. so they're knitting lace ornaments on sock tv right now and then you put it inside of a ball like a oh inside you yeah, put those, the ball inside right and it's a, a like a cover it stretches over it yeah like yeah and you can and get those like at beads. michael's or wherever yeah I, i'm not gonna do that Mm-mm. not my thing right but i think they're kind of pretty mm-hmm. but i could never see me doing enough of those to put it on a tree and then you could give them as gifts. Yeah, and then I thought that, I, like, somebody wants one stupid ball Yeah. on their The only people that would tree. appreciate that is other knitters. Right, but, like, I thought, oh, that'd be cute gifts. I thought the exact same thing, and I thought, here is one random ornament that does not go in your scheme of colors at all. Like, people are going to be like, thanks. <laughs> right. Or they stick it on their wreath on their door. Dude, like, I, I, would, I would totally keep it and treasure it if you knit me one. If I made it. That's because I like this girl. <laughs> that's why That's why we're here. Right? Yeah. But that's the... Oh, and, like, all our friends would totally love it. Okay. Yes, our knitter friends. Our knitter You're friends. not getting one, but just think about it. <laughs> they know that I, I care about you. <laughs> Nice try. You're not getting one. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, I think that's it for today. Peace out. Peace out. We will see you soon. And um, please like and subscribe. And we're going to have all this stuff down on the bottom or along the top or at the bottom. I don't know what we're doing. Subscribe. Ask us questions. Ask us questions. Um, yeah. Whatever you want to do. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Have a good day.